Welcome to another episode of Tech This Week. My name is Apulak. Today's big news, Mr. Musk, Elon Musk, has entered the AI platform race, right? To compete with the big giants like Microsoft, Google, Meta, uh, probably in, in near term. So that's a big story. Uh, as you all know, Mr. Musk uh, had recently acquired now what is called as X.com, formerly called as Twitter, right? So this is his next big uh, story from a tech uh, perspective. Uh, he first acquired Twitter. Now he is he he's developing a platform called Grok. It's being owned by a company called XAI, which is a uh, company owned by Mr. Musk. I think the big differentiator between uh, Grok and its very successful uh, competitors uh, like ChatGPT or Google's Bard is, you know, ChatGPT, uh, Go- sorry, Grok, you know, integrates real time with its sister concern, which is Twitter, right? So what it essentially does is, you know, it gives you reference points which are more current and vis-a-vis as compared to you know, chat GPT or Google Bar, which, you know, yields outdated information sometimes. Because if many of you, I'm sure, like someone like me, who is a big user of chat GPT or Google Bar, you've seen when you when you do a search of a current topic, it always comes back to you and says that, you know, my information set is dates back to 2022. So I think that's a big differentiator. And for all of you, if you've noticed how the story has emerged, you know, when somebody asks, what's the big difference between a search engine and a AI platform like ChatGPT or Google Bard? Is it that they have two different essence, right? But with Elon Musk's acquisition of Twitter and now his foray into, you know, uh, AI platform, I think it's a very compelling story for all those you know, who dismissed Mr. Musk's acquisition of Twitter as a whimsical uh, pattern of his uh, thought process. I I don't think so, because you see, it's a fairly well-edged plan. You acquire Twitter, right? Uh, you streamline the processes. You've got one of the biggest social media platforms under your belt, which will yield real-time information and all the possible news at at hand. You integrate that with a very plat- strong platform, uh, AI driven platform like Grok. What it does is what it gives you an advantage over guys like ChatGPT who've already taken the first move advantage. So this probably is a big differentiator in my view, right? Obviously more to follow in this compelling story, but I feel it's a, it's a, it's a classic case of how an in- inorganic acquisition can yield to something as big and voluminous as this because it's no easy thing to take on the mics of you know you know Microsoft uh, or, or, or uh, you know Microsoft or or Google for that matter to take on you you're taking the game right onto the turf but also let's be mindful when we talk about you know AI you know there are a lot of questions about you know authenticity of data security uh, and so on and so forth the fact that you know uh, X.com is one of the biggest social media platforms out there but it's also important to note that a lot of the tweets that emerge out of this platform spread false information so when we say that you know x.com will be strongly integrated with grok it has to be very careful what gets out of grok's platform is not wrong information you know so the factors like authenticity logic and the right biases as something that need to be looked at. Interesting story, lot to follow. That's it from my end. Thank you. Over and out.